Max Reaper here and we're back in Red Dead Redemption 2, episode 27 I believe, can't remember. So we're just going to carry on with the story, the sun is just rising, I think, just looked in so couldn't tell you this guy's got this up because we were riding through the snow, riding through the snow in the last episode, um, that may have just uh, said part of that twice, I accidentally pressed the share button rather than the... Uh, thingy button anyway guys we'll get straight into it we'll jump on the map uh, where have we got what have we got what have we got hmm not quite sure how far this is from us I can't see up there across there I can't see where I am I must be at this bridge somewhere here. Ah, here we go. There we go. Yeah, it's not too far. We'll have a little ride over there now. Let's uh, get our horse. Horse there. Where are you? There we go, Sam. Let's do it. Oh. Hey, oh. Big man's fast asleep. He's downstairs doing a jigsaw. <laughs> Show you that jig, so I got one in a thousand piece. Well, so I'm just slowly working my way through that one. I said, Sorry, started it yesterday, should probably finish it tonight. But it gives us time to do a little uh, a record here. We've got a fence uh, we don't need. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Get that off. Do, do, for some reason. For some reason, I don't seem to be getting the sound through my uh, headphones, I'm getting it through the TV. So give us a second. Right there, I've sorted it out. Sound. Alright, let's keep moving. We're not too far away, I don't think. I think it's only over here. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's it over there, to be quite honest with you. The light's glowing through the trees. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, the prisoner? Yeah, I am now that you've said it. Get off, let's do this proper charge. Down. Let's move a bit closer. Another one down. Okay, good night. Any more for any more? Doesn't look like it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Yeah, we got you in a second, mate. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We've got to grab this guy. I will be. Don't you worry. But I'll be taking my time about it. I'm gonna get out of this, and when I do, you'll have something to answer for, Mister. Will I really? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want. Yep, I'll be having a I'll look around. Don't you worry about that. Me. Thanks again, citizen. Citizen? Yeah, I'm wanted in here, I know why. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't, uh. Should reduce some of my bounty, hopefully. It doesn't, but 
God damn it. There we go. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take that. Turn the tobacco must be full. Um, okay, yeah, peach. A few things. Any more for any more? Right then. Oh. Yeah, we'll be looting you first as well. What's that little sandbag back there? Right, okay. Sound. <laughs> 1,390 quid. Alright, let's get the horse back. We're running down night time here, so it might be a little bit dark for everyone. When we get back to camp, I'll uh, have a little sleep. And I'll, uh, there we go. I'll have a little sleep and we'll um, bring it back to daytime, why not, eh? Ah. <laughs> Shit. I shouldn't I should have known it was going way too well there. Yep. Getting through there. Let's try it again though. You know. One of the people that doesn't learn from his mistakes will uh, have a little ride through it again. Oh. Seriously? River blocking us off? Mm. Wonder if there's somewhere I can cross this here river just like that. Sound. Ah. There we go, back home. Talking shit then. Talking blood and nonsense, man. Right, okay, there's a tent. Looks so different in the fog. Right, let's have a little sleep. Then we'll go see what we're gonna do. Uh we wanna sleep till morning. We're only four hours away. Right, we are back, guys. Um, oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Good morning, Arthur. Trying to read? Just stood up here smoking a cigar, and she's absolutely nowhere near having this argument. Oh, okay, it was her out the back. But still. These families seems like more trouble than it's worth. Oh, nonsense. We are close to something. Hosea thinks so, too. I sure hope so. Right, all right. Let's have a little uh, little look over here. There's a mission over this Morning, way. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning, mate. Hello. How now? Whoop. The floating bottle and all that. Perfect. Ah, come on, pick up a little bit of speed. Let's get through. Let's get over to the uh see what this little mission is over here. Over some pools and whiskey. 
It made me. It made me soft for him. Now I couldn't. I couldn't keep going. But we're nearly there. Arthur, we need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking. You might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and. I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No. Just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> Okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out oh, of these well, rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right, let's do it. Right, okay, so how far we got to go here because we seem... So, tell me again about this big can't-go-wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of iron from that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. But well, alright. Still got a few things going on here. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. 
We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool <laughs> up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up is just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, drop Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. Yeah, I ain't either, mate. So. But they are a bit like famous last words to me. That's what they sound like. But we'll see. It's a fair old distance, like, isn't it? Getting all the way back here. See what else he's got we to say. need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Hey, right, here we go. We're somewhere near now, I think. Oh, no, it's my uh, you. goddamn map marker. Keep it down now. We're here. Just giving me the option to aim with and I'm trying to talk Good conversation with so. God damn you. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Yeah, alright. Alright, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Oh, okay. I know what's gonna happen here. Not gonna have any of my weapons when it comes to it. Uh, come on. It's gonna make me get back on my horse to get my weapons off, isn't it? I'm not allowed. Uh, I can't get my weapons off it. Damn it. Yeah, I can't. Oh well, I'm stuck with handguns. Yeah? Go to work. Of course. Alright, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Some work going on in here. Talk so, to me. We never decided. 
Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Would you care to? Come on, open this fucking door. Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Okay. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here! Come here! Open come on then, let's get this place emptied. Does that? Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. You shut right, the come hell on, up let's get it done. Stay still. Right. Well, Trish, you know we'll call, so you are correct, sir, if I'm There we go. Need to move this along. Come on, come on. How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Come on, let's get it. Please, let me go. Yeah, we'll find it. We've got another one. We've got another one. Come 
nearly there there we go but two more to do two more that's another one cleared this is looking good how much longer nearly there okay you reckon that's enough now maybe yeah, it's never enough well i am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are yeah i get that we're gonna have a lot of law outside i can understand that but if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it right we're gonna get them all there we go one last one plus it was all paper if i'd blown these it'd have last fucked them. one good we gotta move Come on, we've got this. Yeah, there's one. And two. Here we go, three. Perfect, we're out of here. I <laughs> just had to get dead close to the TV to be able to see. I don't know quite where my glasses are. Alright, alright. Let's move. Got like 20 odd grand. I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. Keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Move through the crowd. Right. Now let's get the hell out of this goddamn town. Yeah, yeah. Hear thee. Fucking powerful little handgun. I don't really use the uh, the, uh, the six shooters at all. It's quite uh, quite a handy little gun actually. I end up just using a rifle all the time. No one down. It's like a sh <laughs> I shot him in the head, then shot his hat as it was flying through the air. So let's get out of here, man. We pulled out some. Morning here, I think. Shot his horse in the face, sir. Uh. <laughs> Come on, get across! Gotta beat that train, Morgan! Yeah, we do that. Boom! Alright, I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. 
That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yay, yay. Ooh. Mrs. Downs needs some help. Let's have a little uh, little look at how far Mrs. Downs is from us. Um, boop, 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 boop. I tell you what, I'll ride us over there and uh, I'll bring us back in when we get a bit closer. Right, guys, we're like... somewhere near now. So let's see what this holds us. Let's go tie up our horse over here, why not, eh? Woof, woof, doggy. Oh, thanks to that horse. Should we have a pet this dog, eh? I don't know. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Oh, jeez. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. But he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. <laughs> Good day. And I guess that was it. We got our debt. I don't think we'll be going back to find them because they seem to be moving on. Camp now, I we think. Yeah. Total take twenty gang gang chair. Your share two and a half. Boom. Evening. Evening. Right then, guys. Why is a horse in the middle of the freaking camp? If I ain't bringing a horse anywhere near the centre of this camp, I'm getting told off. They're going, Arthur? Arthur, man. Right, so. Arthur. Oh, see? Right, I'm not on my horse, mate. Right, guys. I'm going to call at the end of the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like. Remember to subscribe. And also share it out if you can as well. I'd really appreciate it. Help me get a few more views for this uh, this whole playthrough. Thank you for watching. And I'll hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Otherwise, guys, see you soon. Bye-bye.